welcome back to my channel or if you are new here. Hello, my name is Destiny and I am doing a first time mommy series here on my channel. I am expecting my first baby. Here is a bump shot. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant, I think. <laughs> so as you can see from the title of today's video, we are talking all about my new obsession which is body oils. Ever since I've gotten pregnant, I became like so obsessed with body oils. I loved oil before, but now I'm just like <laughs> committed. Um, and I just wanted to share a few of my favorite body oils and body butters that I use to help keep my skin looking nice and firm. <laughs> and hopefully I won't have any stretch marks um after i have the baby either i did notice today that i am getting a little bit of stretch marks up here on my boobs which i have been slacking about putting <laughs> the oil actually on that area so just a reminder do not forget to oil your bosoms <laughs> because you can get stretch marks there as well so my probably my favorite oil of all time or so far that i've discovered is coconut oil. I used to never use it on my skin, and I know it's very common, but I never really got into it until I found this particular cocoa oil. I found this one in particular, and the reason why I never really got into it before is because I didn't really like the idea of putting cooking oil on my skin, even though I use olive oil in my hair. <laughs> I just didn't, it felt weird to get a jar of coconut oil just for my skin. But this one is actually made for beauty purposes. And I don't know, it could very well be the same exact thing, just different packaging. But for my mental health, I just like this better. And this is from Coco Care. I'll try to find a link to everything down and leave it in the description box down below. But um, I found this at a hair store actually, and it doesn't have really a smell. It doesn't have a smell. It is like emulsified, but at a certain temperature, it turns into a liquid. I always just, you know, keep it cool in my apartment so it never really gets liquidy. I'll show you, I'll use a little bit of this right now because I rushed when I got out of the shower. All right, so basically it is like, you know, like thick. And then as soon as you rub it in, it becomes an oil. And I just rub it all over my belly. It is a really nice oil if you have itchy skin. I've noticed that it definitely helps soothe the itch when your stomach starts stretching out. So the next oil that I wanna talk about is actually coconut oil. Again, except this one is a liquid version of coconut oil and it's mixed with sunflower oil. And I found this at TJ Maxx for $5. Just a little hack, a life hack for you guys. Any beauty products like shampoo, conditioner, even like body soaps and hand soaps, but especially oils. Definitely check your local TJ Maxx first because they can be pretty expensive online, but they are so affordable and they actually have some really, really good ones at TJ Maxx or even like Marshalls. So like I said, this is the coconut oil, but it is in liquid form diluted with some a couple of other oils. It has sunflower oil in it, macadamia oil. I started putting this on my face and I noticed that it helps um, dry up some of my pimples because I, as I've talked about in my previous um, in a couple of my previous videos, I have very bad hormon hormonal acne right now, and I've noticed since I've started using this as a moisturizer, it's kind of helping actually to dry out my skin, which is what I want because I keep getting like really juicy whiteheads. <laughs> and so I notice when I put this on before I go to bed, when I wake up my skin, those areas are kind of dried out, and I think it's because I think coconut oil has antibacterial properties. And it just, it's really good at killing the bacteria or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's why it helps for the itch as well. But this one right here, I definitely recommend if you are struggling with any type of facial um, issues as far as like acne goes or even like blackheads. I think this would be really good as well. So the next oil that I want to talk about is another one of my favorites. It is rose hip oil. So this is the one that I originally bought from TJ Maxx. It was $6 and it's from Olivia Care. And it's 100% natural rosehip oil. This oil is 
A1 for stretch marks. So when I start seeing stretch marks come up, they're usually like red on my thighs. I'll see like a little red line and I'll and it's like the shape of a stretch mark and I'm like, uh-uh, not today. So I, <laughs> I went and got some of this from, like I said, TJ Maxx and I put it on there religiously every single night and every single morning and the line, the red lines went away. So anytime, I try to do this every single night, but if I forget, as soon as I see those red lines like popping up on my thighs, I'd make sure I get some rosehip oil. Now this is one of the ones that I use the whole entire thing. So this is empty. I'm gonna try to find this online so I can order some more, but I love this one. So it does use sweet almond oil as a carrier oil, but it is, amazing. So since I ran out of that um, rosehip oil, I found this one at TJ Maxx. It's a huge bottle and it's all over body oil and this one is avocado and rosehip blend. So it's a rosehip oil but it's very diluted um, with other oils. So it has jojoba oil, sunflower oil, rosehip oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. This one is very very diluted so I do love this oil but the only thing is it's not it's not as pure as the other rosehip oil so it's not to me it doesn't work as well it's not the same i don't mind having a mix i feel like it's good it's still beneficial um this one's very hydrating but like i said it's not you don't get the same effect as the 100 percent um, rosehip oil so another one of my oils that I love is this jojoba oil, and this is 100% organic jojoba oil, and this is from acne.org. I was using the acne.org system before I got pregnant, um, but I stopped using it because I didn't want a chance putting all of that benzoyl peroxide on my face. It's not recommended while you're pregnant, so I just stopped using it. I probably will try it out again once I'm finished breastfeeding, maybe sooner if I'm allowed to. <laughs> But um, this oil is great for cleansing. Um, it's also good for irritated skin. So the next thing that I want to talk about is vitamin E oil. These ones are both from TJ Maxx. They're both $4.99. You cannot beat that. Um, so this one is my favorite. It's by Jason. So these are both supposed to be um, like an all-natural oil i love this one because first of all it smells amazing it smells like cherries i think it's the almond oil in it because it smells just like cherries um but it has five essential natural oils almond apricot avocado sunflower and wheat germ to renew the skin's softness like i said this one just smells so good and it leaves a nice you know just refreshing scent when you get out of the shower but it also it really does make your skin feel super super soft and I love this one to rub on my hands and on my cuticles because that tends to be the roughest part of my body so definitely vitamin E, e oil if you have any like textured or rough skin this one is just um, one that I bought when I couldn't find another bottle of this at TJ Maxx so I bought this one I love these dropper bottles by the way you could Definitely reuse these once you run out of the oil. So this one is just as good, but it doesn't smell like this one. This one just, I just love the smell. But this one, it does have lavender oil in it, and it's kind of, um, it's very um, earthy. Like it smells like essential oils, as opposed to this one, it smells like cherries. <laughs> so the next thing that I want to talk about is actually this Aveeno um, jojoba and oat oil. First of all, I never heard of oat oil until I found this at Walgreens, I believe. And this smells amazing as well. I like this one because it's a spray. So it makes it pretty convenient to put all over your body. It says that it's free of parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, silicones, drying alcohol, and synthetic dyes. It's hypoallergenic and suitable for sensitive skin. Um, I love the whole, the new Aveeno line that they came up with, the restorative skin therapy I think line I love it because it's very gentle and it's kind of helped keep my skin moisturized and not so irritated so this is the Aveeno skin um, restorative therapy line that I was telling you about this is the itch relief balm and then I also have the I also have the lotion as well these two I definitely love for skin irritation so like any like dry skin or eczema and they have a shower a body wash as well that i use so another thing that i want to show you is this queen v 
itch don't kill my vibe first of all that's so cute <laughs> itch don't kill my vibe so it says scratch itching off your to-do list heal your rv so queen v is a company that sells products for your vagina and this is supposed to be like a spray that you spray down there you definitely don't ever want to spray anything inside of your vagina i don't actually use it for down there but just fyi don't don't do that <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster if you do use this down there only spray it like on top on your actual skin not inside um but this smells heavenly if you're trying if you want an alternative to perfumes because perfumes can be a little bit irritating and they also are a lot, um, contain a lot of chemicals this is an amazing like body perfume and you spray it directly onto your body it's um, tea tree and coconut oil essential oil spray and like I said I just spray this all over my body when I get after I'm done like with all my oils and it's like a perfume it smells so good it's <laughs> legit like a perfume and it lasts you know all night I like to go to bed smelling good you know so I definitely recommend this <laughs> also like like if your stomach is itchy because it's for itch, <laughs> you can spray it on your stomach for that purpose as well. So a couple of butters, like body butters that I like are the Burt's Bees Mama Bee um, Belly Butter. It has shea butter and vitamin E in it. This one's really soothing. If you're not an oil person, like if you don't like to be, if you don't like for your body to be like slick from like all the oil, I definitely recommend this um, body butter. And also this itch cream as well from Avino. If you want something that's more dry to the skin, these two are good. So another thing that you could use is just plain old shea butter. This is 100% African shea butter. And this one is kind of annoying to use because it is very hard. And so you have to work it in your hands and, um, you know, to get it liquidy. Um, but once you do, once you rub it in, it does turn into like an oil. So it's very, very thick if you've never used shea butter before. I love this for a lip balm. Definitely super, super lasting hydration when you use it as a lip balm, like at night before you go to bed. But it's basically like, like butter. And then you rub it in. And it is oily but it just like I said it takes some working into I love this um like I said as a lip balm and then on my legs after I shave it makes your skin so soft so that is all for today's video I did forget to mention um, a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video I am not a medical professional I am not a dermatologist make sure you do your research ask your providers um, before you use any of these products just to be on the safe side, especially if you are pregnant um, Other than that if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like comment subscribe Share share with your friends share with your mama share with your daddy. Oh Oh, I can't get up <laughs>